Hello everybody, Mr. Emerson here. And today we've got a nerdy two for one special. So, our goal today is to prove that sine of alpha plus beta equals sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. And for free almost, we get sine of two alpha equals two sine alpha cosine beta. So, um, to start this off, I have drawn a diagram. And that diagram is showing us alpha plus beta. So we're looking for the sign of that green angle. All right. So um, we should note that some of these things are right angles, right angle, right angle. And the next thing I'm going to do is start doing, well, let's do this first. Let's write down what we know so far in terms of alpha and beta. So I've got the sine of alpha is equal to a over e. I've got that the cosine of alpha is equal to b over e. Here's what I know so far. Moving on to angle beta, I have the sine of beta is equal to c over d. And the cosine of beta is equal to E over D. Okay, that's just your Sokotoa stuff going on there. By the way, if you've never seen me before, you've watched some of my other videos, now you know why almost all of them are on PowerPoints and I don't show my fat, ugly face here. All right, now moving on. The next thing I'm gonna do is some constructions. The first construction I'm gonna do is set something up that gives us the sine of alpha plus beta. I'm gonna draw it from this point here down to here. Hopefully it's fairly clear why that's true. I'm trying to get the stuff that we've already drawn here involved. Okay, so this is a right angle. All trig stuff goes with right angles. And let's call this, what are we on? We're on F. Okay, uh, let me draw that a little bit further up. So F refers to this green line from top to bottom. All right, now, the next thing I'm going to do is a little bit of magic. I'm going to do another construction that might not seem obvious right now. Oh, by the way, let's be consistent here. Sine of alpha plus beta is equal to F over D, opposite over hypotenuse. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is, again, not maybe as completely obvious as some of the other stuff is. I'm going to draw yet another line here that's going to decompose line segment F that we just drew. Let me see if I can make this a little better. Into two pieces. So again, this is going to be a right angle. And that's really important that we know those are right angles. It's going to matter a lot in a little bit. Okay, so let's call this top part... Let's call that G. And this bottom part, which I'll try to give another color that hopefully stands out on the board. This little part here, that looks all right. We'll call that H. Okay. So why did I draw that? Well, again, I want to decompose this into something where I can use all these other angles um, to express this line segment. Okay? Um, so the first thing I want you to note is that A is congruent to H. I've made a little rectangle here, right? Look at all these right angles. That's a right angle, that's a right angle. And that's a right angle here, right? Um, and so what we've got here is a rectangle here. And A is the same thing as H. So I can re-express A over E as H over E if I need to. And guess what? I wouldn't have done this if I didn't need to. Um, not H over E. Yeah, that's right. H over E. All right. Now, I'm going to do a little angle magic here. And this is also important. So, uh, I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. You might need to slow it down when you can. So, this is alpha. This is 90. So, this guy must be 1 minus alpha. Sorry, I said 1. 90 minus alpha. 90 minus alpha. Okay? And this guy 
is a vertical angle to 90 minus alpha. So this is also 90 minus alpha. Those are congruent. All right? Well, what does that make this little guy from here to here? Well, if this is 90 minus alpha and this is 90, then that's just alpha. That is alpha. Okay? Now, remember again, this guy is a right angle. And this piece of that angle, so the black piece of this 90 degree angle here, is alpha. So guess what? The rest of it, this part, is 90 minus alpha again. And I hope you can see where this is going. This guy up here is alpha, right? This is 90 minus alpha. This has to be alpha because that's the other 90 in our 180 degree triangle. All right, so I went through that fairly quickly, but we have that this is angle alpha, and that is super important here. What does that allow me to do? Well, let's look at this triangle here. C, F, sorry, C, uh, we didn't give this a name. C, this guy, G. That is a right triangle. And the cosine of alpha based on that triangle is G over C. So cosine of alpha is G over C. All right? That is going to matter. All right, with all that preamble done, I think we're ready to go. Look at our goal. We want to prove that the sine of alpha plus beta is sine of alpha cosine of beta plus cosine of alpha times sine of beta. So why don't we see what we can do with this? I have decomposed F into, right? F is the same thing as G plus H. All right, now let's write this out. If this statement is true, right, then it must be the case that G plus H over D is the same thing as sine of alpha times cosine of beta. Let's write that. Sine of alpha is H over E. Sorry, H over E, not he man. H over E. Times cosine of beta. Cosine of beta is E over D plus cosine of alpha, cosine of alpha G over D times sine of beta, sine of beta is C over D. Now remember, all these things are ratios here, right? These are ratios of sides. So if this number is the same as this number, we really can just cross out. Those are just numbers. So boom, the E's go away. Over here, I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? Uh, let me see. So this is supposed to be cosine of alpha, which is G over C. That's what I did wrong. G over C there. Okay, you can see on the board, I just made a stupid error there. So cross out the C's. And I'm left with H over D plus G over D. We have a common denominator. That is H plus G over D. And hopefully we can see that, yeah, that's really the same thing as G plus H over D. Okay, so this is proved. The top line is proved. Bada bing. All right, what about this one? Well, it's really simple now, guys. I'm just going to let alpha, sorry, let beta equal alpha. Let beta equal alpha. These are arbitrary angles, so why not? Okay? And guess what? Now we can just substitute in every place where I see beta, I can replace it with alpha. So, um, let's erase the diagram. I think we're done with it. That's the erase sound. All right, gone. So again, all I'm going to do now is every place where I see beta in this formula, I'm going to replace it with alpha, and that gets on both sides. So we get sine of beta plus beta. Sorry. Other way around, Mr. Emerson. Come on. Alpha plus alpha. Every place I see a beta, it becomes an alpha. 
So sine of alpha cosine of, make the substitution, alpha plus cosine of alpha times sine of alpha. And hopefully you can see that even though they're not in the same order, this is the same as this. So we've got two of the same thing. We've got equals two sine alpha, cosine alpha. We have done it. We've proved two things in one video. So hope you enjoyed that. Hope it was helpful. Um, or if you're a super nerd like me, at least hope it was interesting. So we'll see you in the next one when we do cosines.